this may be a simple ordinary family eto eta bahut sadharan poribar eta hoy but they were part of a divine plan of god kintu teo loke eta ishor bahut divine jodu plan hoy tar eta part hoy onkho hoy the divine plan was so vast so big it covers all eternity are divine plan to iman dangor je to gote ananta kal tu dhori lai and those of you who don't really follow english arjune apna jo bile ke english bujhi na pae you see the pharisees the religious people were busy in their scriptures ke the pharisees bile jo bile bahut dharmi log asile ten loke shastra lai bahut busy asile they were proud of their learning they were proud of their religious activity ten loke nijor jontu jontu shikha hetu lai bahut ten loke abhiman asile abhimani asile ar nijor dharmik dharmik bostu bile kor but the shepherds were the one who were hungry for god into jumilak me rokhi asile teu loke isshor karane bahut bhukot asile they were hungry for messiah to come teu loke messiah ahibo karane bahut bhukot asile because they knew what it is to live in bondage kanti teu loke janisile bandhanot jiya to kenuka lage they knew what it is to live in suffering and sorrow teu loke janisile je koshto aru dukhot thakibole kenuka lage and they also knew that this longing If there is a longing, there must be a solution. At the end of the day, they will get to the solution. So, if they are not able to get to the solution, they will get to the solution. But the religious people are blind to see what they need. The dharmic look will be like they are not able to get to the solution. They will get to the solution. They think that God will somehow overlook their sins and disbelief because they are so good looking. They will get to the solution. 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 নেদেখা কই দিব কারণ কি তেওলকে বহুত দেখাত ভাল আছিল হেতু কারণে তেওলকে এনেকে ভাবিছিল দে থিং দ্যাট গড উইল সামহাউ ফরগিভ देयर সিনস বিকজ দে আর টিচিং আদার পিপল হাউ টু লিভ গডলি লাইফ তেওলকে ভাবিছিল যে ঈশ্বর তেওলকর পাপপুর ক্ষমা কৰি দিব কারণ কি তেওলকে বেলেগ লোক শিকায় আছিল এনেকে ঈশ্বর পাপপুর দে আর সেলফ সাফিসিয়েন্ট প্রাউড এন্ড অ্যারোগ্যান্ট হিউম্যান বিইংস তেওলকে বহুত অভিমানী আর বহুত খমন্ডি মানুহ আছিল বাট ইট ইজ দ্য শেফারডস এন্ড দ্য ডেস্টিটিউটস who are longing for messiah to come and deliver them kinu me rokhe bil me rokhe tu rokhi asile me rokhe bil rokhi asile that the messiah to ahe and therefore you see a shepherd boy running with all his wounds hetu karane eta apunaloke eta me rokhe dekhisile june gote duk pa asile aro dori asile symbolizing for us that jesus christ is the one who will heal all our wounds aro etu etu symbolize kore dekhoy je jesus christ ta ejon hoy jo june amar okolo কোনো <laughs> গাঁখনত কোনো এটা নাম নাছিল নোবডি রিয়েলি কেয়ার ফর देम দে লোকৰ কাৰণে কোনো নাম ভাবিছিল বাট বিকজ অফ দিস ডিভাইন প্ল্যান অফ গড দে ওয়ার থ্রোন আউট অফ অবস্কিউরিটি ইনটু দ্য লাইমলাইট কিন্তু এই আচৰ্য ঈশ্বৰৰ প্ল্যানটোৰ কাৰণে ঈশ্বৰে তেওঁলোকক এই হৰু বস্তুটোৰ পৰা বহুত বিখাল বস্তু তালে লৈ আহিলে ইফ আ গড ডিড নট ফোর্স देम টু কাম ইনটু দ্য লাইমলাইট লাইমলাইট ঈশ্বরে তেওঁলোক জুর করি এই ডাঙৰ এই বিখাল বস্তুটো লৈ আহা নাছিল হি সেন্ট এন এঞ্জেল টু টেল देम व्हाट গড ওয়াজ উইলিং টু ডু ইন देयर লাইফ কিন্তু তেও এজন সরবদূত পঠাইছিল তেওঁলোকৰ জীৱনত যে ঈশ্বরে তেওঁলোকৰ জীৱনত কি কৰিব ইফ দে চুজ দে কুড হ্যাভ এভয়ডেড দিস লাইম লাইট আর তেওঁলোক যদি খুজিলে তেন তেওঁলোক এই বিখাল পৰিয়োজনাটো তেওঁলোক ইনকার কৰিব পাৰিলে they could have said no we don't want this at they like call by eleven sake nami amake tu nalage but when the angel gabriel came to them they say yes kinu sorokdu jitia gabriel tem lokor sole ahile tem lokor hoy buli kole when the angels came to the shepherds in the vicinity of bethlehem jitia sorokdu bilake ei bethlehem or merukhe bilako lok horile the shepherds ran towards jesus christ aro jitia e merukhe bilake jesus christ or phale tori gol they could have who cares about it teluke etu ko paile ten jun etu bikoy no kune chinta kore dorkar nai to who knows about these angels and signs in heavens kune no ei sorok dur bilakor bikoy aro ei chinno bilakor bikoy aro horogor bikoy jan they could have easily avoided 
the deliverance that was coming to them. But they ran towards Jesus Christ. And the Mary and Joseph accepted what God was telling them. So I said, these simple ordinary village folks became universal in a moment of that acceptance. Today you may be nobody in your own eyes, in the eyes of your friends and family. Maybe you have nothing that can give you significance in this world. But I want you to see this family, how they became universal. Number one, this family was marked with faith and obedience. The reason they became well known throughout the universe today is because of their faith and obedience to what God said to them. Look at Mary's response in chapter 1 verse 38. chapter 1 verse 38 When angel said Mary this is going to happen to you Instead of saying, no, I don't believe it, she said, let it be done according to your word. Mary had this unwavering trust in the word of the angel. And she said, I am your servant, I am God's servant, I offer myself as an instrument of God's righteousness. She did not go about asking hundreds and one questions about how will it happen, how can it happen. When God sent the message, he said, yes, I believe it. Not only did she believe, she said, let it be done according to your word. I am willing to obey. And same thing happened to Joseph. Joseph was thinking, oh, this is going to be difficult. He said, maybe secretly I will do away with Mary. But the same angel came in the dream. And the Bible says in Matthew chapter 122, Joseph did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him to do. Do you want to see God do something spectacular and special in your life? Do you want your life to be of some kind of significance? Then have faith in God's word and obey it. You may be reading the Bible, but if you are not obeying it, you are not obeying it. You are losing a lot. You are miss, missing in life so much. Because faith always results in obedience. And disobedience is the result of not having faith. So, Obedience is an act of faith. Disobedience is the result of unbelief. 
When you read a passage in the Bible, and that passage tells you to do something, and then you refuse to do it, that means you do not believe. You do not have faith in God. And the Bible says, without faith it is impossible to please God. Uh, and when you do not believe and when you do not obey you say no to the power of God and when you say no to the power of God you say no to the possibilities in your life if, if you had allowed the word of God to work in your life, you could have been an amazing person. But if you say no, then you are saying no to your future possibility, future success. You will remain a nobody, you will die a nobody. Even your children, when they talk about you, they'll say, Oh, my father, my mother, my grandfather, my grandmother was useless. But if you obey the word of God, if you trust in the word of God, you will leave behind children, grandchildren who will appreciate you. You will have friends and relatives and neighbors who will look at you and say, this person is something very special. I have a classmate from the elementary school, primary school. We were always fighting with one another. I was a very angry boy. I had almost killed him one time. We were fighting and I grabbed a rock. And I hit him on the head. And I could see the rocks jumping out of his head. He fell down and I ran away. I was so afraid that he is dead. He survived. He married a relative of mine. He's got a very good job. But I was a very useless boy. I had no future. I had no family. I had no education. No future ahead of me. But about four or five years ago, he added me in Facebook. We had never met after the elementary school. He knew about my background. And finally, when we met through Facebook, he began to listen to my sermons online. And then one day he sent a message. Man, you did it. I never knew you could be a person like this. I am still in the same village. I am having a married life. Same house. Same job. But you are travelling around the world. You are speaking to hundreds and thousands of people. You did it. Now, I'm not telling to be proud of it. But as you see the shepherd boy running to Jesus, you can see just like that I was running towards Jesus. Everyone rejected me. When I was nine days old, my parents abandoned me. 
And finally, when I was 13 years old, my father said he will never give any property, and he put all the pro he wanted to put all the property in my younger brother's name. So from 13 to 16 years, I was a wandering man, so a boy. I had gone to every temples and shrines that I could find. And someone said, if I go to Haridwar and Rishikesh, I'll find some meaning. I went there and, was, and the life was shame. Finally, at the age of 17, like the bright shining light came to the shepherds. Through reading one book about Jesus Christ. The bright shining light of the gospel came to me. It transformed me overnight. And like the shepherd boy who left his uh, the, the walking stick. Like the shepherd boy with all scars and wounds, I came to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ and he put bondage, bandage in my wounds. He, he, he brought back smile on my face. He restored my extreme bipolar disorder. Mentally, I was normal. Emotionally, I became normal. Socially, I became normal. My anger disappeared. Desire to live came back. Desire to study came back. Desire to have a family came back. And desire to live for others came back. That's because when I picked up the Bible, I said yes to Jesus Christ. And I began to put that word into practice. I say yes to Jesus. Anything he says. Three years ago, we had a wonderful life in South Korea. And our son is still there. I had finished my PhD. I was teaching in a university. I was pastoring in international church. I was pastoring in international church. My wife was happy. But Jesus said, go back to Gohati. Many times I said no. But I knew if I said no, my wonderful life in Korea may just disappear on the moment. So I, me and my wife, we obeyed the Lord to come here. First year it was difficult. But now, I am so glad to see all of your faces. When God told me to go to Gohati, I had to obey it. Because God had you also in his mind. You needed to be told the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hope church has to come into existence so that we will teach and preach the gospel to many more other people. If I had disobeyed, <laughs> maybe I would have some money in the world. But I cannot guarantee that money will give me this joy of serving God. If you want to come out of your obscurity, if you want to come out and live a life of happiness and joy, faith and obedience go, have to go together. Maybe nobody is there for you. 
But God is there. Can you restore yourself in the Lord? Pick up the Bible. I'm not like a Bible come talk. Read it. I'm not like a come poro. Believe it. We suck korok. Live according to it. Our Bible is a nego and a nega zio. When you read the Bible, that you have only Bible come poro. And when you know that you are living opposite of what it says, our Bible is that you have only ulta to get up on his yes. Turn around. Walk with Jesus. Jesus Christ alone could cover. Run towards Jesus. Jesus Christ alone could cover. Because when you run to Jesus, because you are running to Jesus Christ alone, you will never ever lose in life. Because you are running to Jesus Christ alone, you will never ever lose in life. He is such a kind and compassionate Savior. Because he has an iman doya 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 lu uthal karta hai. He loves to bring you out of darkness into the light. Theo theo bhal paaye apna logo andhar andhar kar pa ulai bina hai. He wants to heal your broken wound. अपने लोगों और जून बिलक जो खोमा से हेबू टेंग जो हुस्ता ग्रोन बिसारे। If you have a limping leg, he will heal, touch it. जो भी अपना ऐसा लेग रहा बोलिए कौन सा है कौन उठे ठीक करी वो। So run to Jesus. ये तो कहने जिसको क्रिस्टल दौड़ो। Next thing these people did was they were marked with humility and wisdom. आरो ए लुक लुक की जनर किया सिले जून बिल ए लोगों ए लुक की जनर किया आरो नमोता सिले। Mary and Joseph were ordinary human beings. Mary or Joseph, hadaran look asile. But they became extraordinary. You know, they look a bohut bikhe koi gol because their life was marked with humility and wisdom. Because they look or zivon to gyan aru nomrat adi soliye asile. When angel gave the message to Mary, she went to meet Elizabeth and Zachariah. Zetia. सोलह बजे है भी नहीं मैरिक मैसेज तो दिले ताई कोई भी नहीं जखराया और एलिजाबेथ के लोग दूर बोल। Because she knew that only people who would understand would be those who had the same message from the angel। कारण कि टेम्स अली सिले से ए सोलह बजे और प्रा ए वो लोग और आप थे एक ही मैसेज तो रखी बो। If Mary said, if Mary went to the next door neighbor said, oh look, angel told me I'm going to be pregnant। और ताई जो थी निजा उस और से बढ़िया कोई भी ना मैरिय Everybody will be talking. Oh, she is telling angel whom she went and now she is telling angel. Yeah, it's a baki bilai ki koi len tai bikhoi bage kotha pati le then. It's a sorok dudo kotha koi aise bolie nuka the board kiki bana le then. The gossip would have created a miserable life for her. Aru a nuka nuka kotha koi bilak teu teu jiban to board bage bolie then. They were humble, but they were wise. So she went to meet Elizabeth. She went to meet Elizabeth. So 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 she went to meet Elizabeth. Her husband was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. Our Joseph is a very dharmic man. He 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 was a humble and a wise man. He was a very dharmic man. He also had difficulty to accept that how can an angel come and say such a thing? He was a very dharmic man. So instead of putting Mary in a bad light, आरु Mary का ता बेहाज़ जीवन ने पहला है। Instead of saying that this is not my child, आरु ताय तेरो ये तू नुकुआ कैसे ये तू मुर हंटा ना होए। Maybe he would just get Mary and then divorce। अ तेरो भाभी से लेकिन वो बिया पति बिना ही मर divorce कोई नहीं। So that at least Mary's life will be spared। जाते Mary जीवन तो बसी जाए। Otherwise Mary would be stoned to death। बाम में नहाले Mary those days, if an unmarried woman becomes pregnant out of wedlock and nobody is there to prove the father, death by stoning was the consequences. So, Joseph was a very humble and a wise man. We need to be wise and humble at the same time. When we are humble, we should not let people to make us like doormats. You know, when you are so humble and kind, people just take advantage over you. 
We need to be wise. If you go and talk to everybody about your problems, you will be in more problems. But if you know certain people that are truly your friend, you talk to them, they will be helpful to you. I found out that in, in the previous church that you were part of it, they have something called a mind education. And they allow you to speak about your problems. They want you to share your problem with everyone. The problem is if you share your problem with everyone, you are only multiplying your problems. You need to share your problem with the person who can help you to be healed. So therefore, I found out many of the members of the Good News says they always want to talk about problems. And when we always talk about our problem with everyone, it creates hurt and misunderstanding and disappointment. Therefore, Mary did not go about talking her problem with everyone. She went to the place where she can trust. And then when we know others' problem, because we're spiritually so immature, we go to others and say, do you know Puya has this problem? Do you know Chetri has that problem? We want to talk about others' problem. We want to talk about others' problem. We want to talk about others' problem. We want to be better than the others by talking about their problems. But Joseph was not like that. When Joseph saw Mary was pregnant, he also had no answer. But he wanted to help Mary. He, want, he wanted to protect Mary. Even though he wanted to divorce her. But he doesn't want her to die. So quietly he wanted to divorce. If you know someone's problem. Someone comes to you with their problems. Be trustworthy. Dependable. Dependable. Don't tell all about their problem to others. If you do so, next time nobody is going to trust you. And when nobody trusts you, nobody will respect you. And you will be nobody. No, nobody means a person who has no influence in society. Joseph and Mary were humble people. Joseph and Mary both number look at it. Listen what Mary said in Luke chapter 2 verse 19. Luke chapter 2 verse 19 on Mary keep us in I didn't put it there. I'm sorry. Let me read. Mary treasured of all these things and pondered them in her heart. Mary able to tell her who did it. When the angels came about this amazing news. And they told the shepherds go and see the baby. And they told the shepherds go and see the baby. And they told the shepherds go and see the baby. When they came and told the message that the angel had given, Mary knew who Jesus was from the very beginning. But she did not go boasting about, this is who I am, this is who is in my womb. She kept in her heart. She treasured in her heart. Because they were humble people. In fact, when they came to Bethlehem, 
Maybe some of our Bible says there was no place in the inn. Our our bohot or Bible it says, hey, they all guys unto for hotel come go isil. That is a place. When we say word inn, it looks like as if it's a hotel or guest house. Our inn ko inn bolise ta me ko me hotel ba guest house bolise habo. The word inn is the house was full of people. That is because unto upper room room kida isil. That is pura located forty ho isil. And the bottom, the ground floor, usually they keep their animals and cows and sheep. Our ground taller monzila they all okay. निजर जंतु बोर और निजर गोरु सोसा गोली बोर रखी सिले। Now when they were living upstairs, जितने तेरे लोग का ऊपर असिले, the the labour pain began to start in Mary's life। और जितने तेरे लेबर पेन तो आराम बहुल। She had to give birth। तेरे जितने जन्म दी बोल लोगिया होई गई सिले। And in our society when a woman is giving birth nobody is around there, right? और जितने अमर अमर सोसाइटी तो की है जितने महिलाएं जन्म दिए कुनो जितने उस ओर ना थके। Only women of the house will be there। अकाल घरों महिला बूट आते थके। No men will be allowed to stay inside। कितियो मोटा मानो जब तार थके बोले कारणे अलाउ ना करे। So it so happened that there was no space on on the upper room। और इतने नुका हाल जे कुनो ता जगा ना सिले ऊपर रूम तो। So finally they had to tell this family maybe you go down where the animals are there there she can give birth in a privacy aro ontimo e poribar te sake kobologiya hoje tumaloke tolle jo atalok koi pina tar tumi kore mane janam dio para and we have no evidence that they ever resented or they were not happy about it aro amar ta enoka ta kono information nai bible kono je teoloke inkar korisile ei kotha they humbly came to the animals place teoloke nomro hoy pina e जोंटु थका जगह तो दाह आहिले। They gratefully gave birth and placed the baby in a manger। आठ ऐलो के बहुत हुकात है फंडान तो जन्मो दिले। Humility। एटु हॉल नम्रता। Simplicity। आर जोंटु simplicity हो। Sincerity। जोंटु sincerity हो। These are some of the qualities that mark this first amazing family। एब लग किस्मन quality हो जोंटु ए पुरी पार तो दासिले। So they and then they handle their situation very wisely. Our news are the situation as led to both they look at yeah, both Kiani who have been handled correctly. And then thirdly, their life was marked with trust and commitment. Our own team number, they look at the Zibon as well. And to be second, they are commitment to solve it. Once they know that this was from God. Did you know that ever Zani leze do is solve it? How you believe? Joseph did not doubt on Mary. Joseph and Mary you put. They trusted each other. They all okay. Isn't it? Isn't it? Bissak kuri le. They believed each other. They all okay. Isn't it? Isn't it? Bissak kuri thakil le. And then they were committed to each other. And isn't it? Isn't it? Committed us le. When the time came to go to Bethlehem, jitia homoa hai le. Bethlehem ko chabole karna. Joseph did not leave Mary behind. Joseph and Mary aitha nu kore. Joseph not only trusted Mary. Joseph ko call Mary bissak kuri thakan asil le. He was committed to the marriage. Or I Mary logo jur khai asil le. I will take care of my wife. Moi nizar potni maro brhurakha kori me. And then Mary was committed to Joseph. Or Mary Maryu Joseph ko logo asil le ke lagen. You know it was not their desire to go to Bethlehem. They logo to issa asil je Bethlehem ko they logo sao. If they had to depend on their feelings, they don't want to go to Bethlehem. They look at it in their Bhavana Villa got side. They look at it in Mount Nazareth Bethlehem got side. It takes nearly a one week journey from Mount Nazareth to Bethlehem. Aro, atta hafta jatra hoy Bethlehem Nazareth to Bethlehem mole. And Mary was about to give birth. Aro, Mary kisu ha bolu isile. To go this long journey was not an easy thing. Aro, a lomba journey to zavale karne atta bohot. But they trusted God. Kito tayo lang kay Isor bisag ko rin le. Mary trusted Joseph. Mary ay Joseph ko bisag ko rin dahil le. Joseph was committed to God. Joseph Isor logo committed asil le. Mary was committed to Joseph. Aru is Mary yu Joseph ko committed asil le. And they took this difficult journey. Aru tayo lang kay kothin kothin jatra to lole. You know, if you are obeying God only when you feel good. Judi abno lang kay इस तरह अज्ञान माली ऐसे जो भी अपने लगे भाल लगे से हेतु हमारे खाली या देन यू विल नेवर प्रोग्रेस इन लाइफ तो अपने लगे जीवन तो कितने उन्नति न होगा यू हैव टू बी विलिंग टू ओबे गॉड व्हेन थिंग्स आर डिफिकल्ट अपने लगे इस तरह अज्ञान मानी बोला गया थी या this sakori bolaga jeti apna lage bahut beha hoy to ase sometimes people say oh i don't feel like doing it kete ba look bilage koy je manu bilage koy je mur bhal mur etu kori bole karone issa nai if you are living by feelings jodi apna lage apna lagor anubhav eti ji ai ase you will always live in darkness apna lage hotai ondhokar hote bohi thakibo but you have to trust god kintu apna lage isshor bishwas kori bolage and you have to be willing to go against your feelings aro apna lagor etu issa thakibo lage je apnar 
You have to be willing to go against the comfort. You have to be willing to sacrifice some good things in life. So that God can give you better things. So do you want to change the circumstances of your life? Look at the shepherds. Look at this humble family. Today, when we when we go to heaven, we will be surprised to see about what the shepherds did in their life. The shepherd that ran to tell the message must have been some of the amazing disciples of Jesus Christ. They, they no longer remain the despised group of people. The fishermen that followed Jesus, they were they turned the world upside down. Upside down they influence the whole world. Because they believed what Jesus told them. And they obeyed what Jesus told them. And when people challenged them, when circumstances came against them, they humbled themselves and they began to trust God, to carry them along. And they were committed to the call of God. So as we come to church on Sunday, let us come to church like the shepherd boy was running to Jesus. Let us become like Mary who is who is treasuring all that she is hearing about Jesus in her heart. Let us be humble and wise. So that God will bring us from darkness into light. When our time on earth is done, when we start going to heaven, we will leave behind a testimony. We will leave behind a story. And the, our children and our grandchildren will be happy to talk about it. Amen. Amen. Let us take a moment and pray. Are you hidden from society? Do you think nobody notices you? Do you feel lonely and forgotten? Do you think your potential is wasting away? Do you think you could do much more than what you are doing right now? Just like the shepherd boy, if we run to Jesus with trust and faith and commitment, your life will become different. Don't depend on the Pharisees. Don't depend on the people who say no. Don't depend on the, the crutches or the walking sticks. Don't look at your wounds. Look at Jesus, the one who heals you. Who will heal your lame legs. Who will open your blind eyes. Who will open your deaf ears. 
নহুনা কানু পুলি দিব হি উইল গিভ ইউ আ নিউ সং টু সিং তে আপনা নতুন গীত এটা দিব গা বলে কারণ হি উইল ব্রিং আ নিউ ফিউচার ইন ইওর লাইফ আপনা নতুন এটা ভবিষ্যৎ তেও লৈ হিব হি উইল গিভ ইউ লাইট টু লিভ ইন তেও লৈ আপনা জীবনত পোহর দিব জিয়া বলে এন্ড হোয়েন ইউ স্ট্যান্ড বিফোর পিপল আ জেতি আপনি মানু বিলাক হনমুক থি হইব ইউ উইল নট বি ফিয়ারফুল অর সেম আপনি ভয় না ভয় দিনা খাইনা থাকিব আপনি দিতা লাজু না পাবো ইউ উইল বি কনফিডেন্ট আপনি পুরা কনফিডেন্ট থাকিব ইউ উইল বি কন্টেন্ট আপনি বহুত সন্তুষ্ট থাকিব এন্ড ইউ উইল বি এবল টু টেল देम দ্য মিস্টারি অফ লাইফ আর আপনি এই জীবনৰ ৰহস্যটো আপোনালোকে তেওঁলোকক কব পাৰিব when the shepherds came to jesus যেতিয়া মেৰুকিয়া বিলাক মেৰুকিয়া বিলাক যেতিয়া যিশু খ্ৰীষ্টৰ ওচৰলৈ আহিছিল they say let's go তেওঁলোকে কলে বল যাও people must know মানুহ বিলাকে জানিব লাগে they must know there is life in jesus তেওঁলোকে জানিব লাগিব যে জীৱন আছে যিশু খ্ৰীষ্টত they must know there is healing in jesus তেওঁলোকে জানিব লাগিব যে যিশু খ্ৰীষ্টত সুস্থতা পায় there is no uh, this they must know there is better life in jesus তেওঁলোকে জানিব লাগিব যে এটা বহুত ভাল জীৱন আছে যিশু খ্ৰীষ্টত when you come to jesus যেতিয়া আপুনি যিশু খ্ৰীষ্টলে আহে you will also know আপোনালোকে জানিব and you will tell others যেতিয়া আপোনালোকে লোকক কৈ ফুৰিব heavenly father স্বর্গীয় পিতা we thank you for today's worship আমি ধন্যবাদ দিছো আজি তোমাৰ মহিমা প্রশংসা কৰণ we thank you for the birth of the lord jesus christ আমি ধন্যবাদ দিছো যিশু খ্ৰীষ্টৰ জন্মৰ কাৰণে you became man today we could become your children আপুনি মানুহ আহিলে যাতে আমি তোমাৰ সন্তান হ'ব পাৰো you died so that today we could live আপুনি মৃত্যু ললে যাতে আমি আজি জীয়াব পাৰো you became poor so that through your poverty we might become rich আপুনি দুখী হৈ আহিলে যাতে আমি আপোনাৰ দুখীয়ৰ যোগেদি আমি ধনী হৈ যাব পাৰো you became sin so that through your righteousness we might be righteous আপুনি পাপ হৈ গ'ল যাতে আপোনাৰ পাপৰ যোগেদি আমি তোমাৰ আপোনাৰ ধৰ্মিকতাটো পাব পাৰো lord i pray for all of us here প্ৰভু মই ইয়াতে সকলো কাৰণে প্ৰাৰ্থনা কৰিছো those of us specially who are forgotten যোন বিলাক বিখেক কে তেওঁলোক সবে পাহৰি গৈছে who are sad and lonely যোন বিলাক বহুত দুখ দুখত আছে আৰু অকলৰে গৈ আছে who are oppressed and in bondage যোন বিলাক বহুত কষ্টত আছে আৰু বুজাত আছে who are confused and lonely যোন বিলাক confused আৰু অকলৰে গৈ আছে just like the shepherds যেনেকে এই শেফৰটো lord give them the light of the gospel প্ৰভু তেওঁলোক গসপেলৰ পোহৰটো দিয়ক ড্ৰ देम টু ইয়োৰসেল্ফ তোমাৰ ওচৰলে তেওঁলোক লৈ যাওক হিল देम তেওঁলোক পুষ্ট কৰক ৰেষ্টোর देम তেওঁলোক ঘুৰাই দিয়ক সব ব্লেছ देम লৰ আৰু তেওঁলোক আশীৰ্বাদ কৰক প্ৰভু ওপেন দা আইজ তেওঁলোকৰ চকু খুলি দিয়ক দে দে কুড সি দা ফিউচাৰ যাতে তেওঁলোকে ভৱিষ্যতটো দেখা পায় উই কমিট আ চার্চ ইন ইয়োৰ হেণ্ড আমাৰ গিৰজাটো তোমাৰ হাতত দি দিছো এভৰি মেম্বাৰ দ্যাট কামস হিয়ৰ উইল অলসো কাম টু দা সেভিং নলেজ অফ জিসাস ক্রাইস্ট প্রত্যেক মেম্বাৰ জুনি এটা হে তেওঁলোকে জিসু খ্ৰীষ্টৰ উদ্ধাৰক জ্ঞানত আহি যাব এণ্ড দেন দে উইল ৰিসিভ দা ফুলনেছ অফ লাইফ আৰু তেওঁলোকে তেতিয়া জীৱনৰ সকলো পৰিপূৰ্ণতাটো পাব উই কমিট আ টুনাইটছ প্ৰগ্ৰাম আজি পিস বেলৰ প্ৰগ্ৰামটো টুমৰোজ প্ৰগ্ৰাম ইন ইয়োৰ হেণ্ড তোমাৰ আৰু কালি প্ৰগ্ৰামটো তোমাৰ হাতত দিছো আৰু কন্টিনিউ টু স্পিক টু আছ প্ৰভু তুমি আমাক তুমি কথা কবলৈ কন্টিনিউ কৰি থাকিবা নাও মে দা গ্ৰেছ অফ আৱাৰ লৰ্ড জিসাস ক্ৰাইষ্ট আৰু ইতিয়া যিশু খ্ৰীষ্টৰ অনুগ্ৰহটো লভ অফ দা ফাদাৰ আৰু পিতাৰ প্ৰেমটো এণ্ড দা ফেলোশিপ অফ দা হোলি স্পিৰিট আৰু পবিত্ৰ আত্মাৰ সহবাগিতাটো বি উইথ আছ অল ফ্ৰম নাও এণ্ড ফৰ এভাৰ মৰ আৰু হেতু আমাৰ লগত সদায় থাকক এতিয়া আৰু সদায় কাৰণে আমেন 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 গড ব্লেছ ইউ ইছৰ আমাক